good morning, my no makeup friends. Today's tip is about healing. Healing. I'm talking about healing of any kind and every kind you can think about. Because today, as I was working out, this massive awareness came to me. Now look, I have been walking with Jesus. I came from, he rescued me from death to life. 50 years ago, not to the day, got a couple of months yet, but yes, 1971, 50 years ago, I started walking with Jesus and he's been rescuing me ever since, honestly. But look, that's the reason, that's not, from death to life is not the only reason Jesus came. Yes, Yes, he came for forgiveness of sin. He paid the price for all sin. That those of us that receive that, that gift of his uh, go from death to life. Yes, we, are, we don't have to suffer under the wrath of the Father that's coming. <laughs> well, anyway, but look, it's more than that. And it just overwhelmed me to the point I was crying while I was working out. Don't you see? The scripture teaches Jesus is the representation of the Father. When we see Jesus, we see the Father. It's not only the power and the sovereignty, the authority to put death to rest. Jesus came to display what that healing means in this world. In this world. The illustrations are all over the place. He didn't only make blind people be able to physically see. And he did that several times, several places. But you know, to make sure that illustration was there. It wasn't once in the back of one of the small little epistles or uh, prof Old Testament prophets or any. Well, that would have been Old Testament. Anyway. He gave sight to the blind, spiritual sight to the spiritually blind, dead in their sins, sight, life, to live for all eternity. But he didn't stop there. Lepers who were diseased had clean skin. Those of us that are, have been living in sin, cleansed. He brought, and there's the best illustration maybe of the death to life. He brought dead people back to life. He himself rose from the dead. Confirmation of power. Those of us that are dead in sin are brought to life. But look, all of this brings me to a certain place. Because today I realized some of the other healings he did. And the power of them for me. Yes, all of those. But for me, the demoniac, the guy that lived in the caves because he was possessed. Now, look, I'm not saying I have been or am or whatever possessed, but there's a sense of oppression, too, that can be from the enemy. Or even just oppression, depression, let's call that from the world. Jesus displayed the power of God to us. Even if it was the, pers po the worst possible case scenario that you could ever imagine. So possessed, so out of your mind, so to speak, that you had to be away from people and live in a cave. Some of us have lived that way. In a cave of our own making or a cage. But it might not seem that bad. The illustration in your own life. I mean, we have this fine outside and we carry on. People don't really know. God knows. So if you wonder if healing is even possible for you, you go back through scripture. There was the woman who was bleeding for 12 years. Nobody heard her voice. Nobody helped her. She got absolutely no relief until she simply touched the hem of Christ's garment and the power went out to heal her instantaneously. 
so many other illustrations that come back to mind. But look, you search the scripture. Holy Spirit, bring an illustration to any woman that's listening to me now that will touch where they are, where they live, where they yearn for healing. Or maybe they're not even aware that they need it. But something's been off. Please come to them and reveal through your word the power of Christ the power of God and the compassion of the Father. Christ, look at the healing he did in the three years of his active ministry. The impact. The people that he literally fed who were starving on the hillside. I ask this now in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Look, I'm going to be pondering this all day today. If this has been an encouragement to you, or if it didn't it didn't quite touch you, but maybe, or did, and somebody else, look, or you think there's any woman that could benefit from this message, like and comment, share it. Let, let the truth of this wide ministry of Jesus be known. Look, have a blessed day.